Hey, hit stick football fans, the Seattle Seahawks are turning the page on an epic era. With Pete Carroll out after 14 unforgettable seasons, we're diving headfirst into the Mike McDonald era, and things are about to get spicy. The roster has been flipped, and with some jaw dropping moves, the Seahawks are shaking things up big time. Can they fly high in 2024, or are we in for a bumpy ride? Let's get into it. Hit that like button, subscribe, and smash that bell so you don't miss any of the unfiltered NFL action coming your way. The Seahawks didn't just dip their toes in the offseason pool, they went full cannonball. Sam Howell comes in not as the starter, but as a potential game changer in the QB room. His strong preseason performances are already putting pressure on Geno Smith to deliver week after week. Farrell Brown adds a versatile punch to the tight end spot. Can he be the secret weapon we need on those crucial third downs? Nick Harris joins the O-line, tasked with the monumental job of keeping our QBs off the turf. No pressure, right? Rayshon Jenkins is here to shore up the secondary, but will his playmaking skills be enough to fill the void left by our veterans? Tyrell Dodson and Jerome Baker are set to add some much needed firepower to our linebacker group. Depth is great, but we need these guys to be more than just bench warmers. With some big names coming in, we also had to say goodbye to a few fan favorites. Drew Locke to the New York Giants. The QB room is definitely less crowded, but does it have the talent we need? DJ Dallas made his way to the Arizona Cardinals, leaving a gap in our running back rotation. How will this shake up our ground game? And let's not forget the biggest departure of all. Pete Carroll, after 14 seasons and countless memories, Carroll's departure marks the end of an era. With his departure, there are big shoes to fill, and Mike McDonald better be ready to step up. All right, let's talk strategy. The Seahawks have pulled some big moves, but do they have the muscle to back them up? Mike McDonald is in his head coach, known as one of the best defensive minds in the game. Seattle might be looking to reignite their glory days when they ruled the NFL with an ironclad defense. Is this the start of a new legion of boom? Sam Howell isn't here to just fill a roster spot. He's adding a layer of pressure that could either push Geno Smith to new heights or expose cracks in the foundation. Geno knows there's a young gun waiting in the wings if he slips up. Farrell Brown brings versatility, but will he be the game changer in crucial situations? The Seahawks are banking on it. The offensive line has been a revolving door for years. Nick Harris needs to be the anchor, or else it's another season of QB sacks and lost opportunities. The secondary has always been Seattle's pride. Rayshon Jenkins needs to bring the heat or risk being another forgotten name in the shuffle. The linebacker core is looking for leaders, not just bodies. Dodson and Baker need to come in swinging if we're going to see any improvement on that side of the ball. We've got some hot takes from the experts. According to PFF, Seattle's offseason is all about laying down the foundation for future success. But the question remains if they've done enough to be competitive now. Seattle sports didn't pull any punches, stating that Geno Smith needs to prove he's not just a placeholder, but a leader who can take this team deep into the playoffs. Meanwhile, Howell's strong preseason is turning heads. Even the home team at Seahawks.com is cautiously optimistic, praising the efforts to rebuild, but acknowledging that this season will be a test of patience and growth more than immediate success. Mixed reviews from the pundits. Uh, it's clear Seattle is taking a long-term approach, but are the fans ready for more rebuilding? Now here's where we lay it all on the line. Our bold prediction for the Seattle Seahawks in 2024. An 8-9 finish, just missing the playoffs. Yeah, we said it. While there's undeniable potential in the moves they've made, it feels like too little, too soon. The offense might show flashes, but with so much riding on a veteran QB and a brand new coaching staff, we're skeptical about their consistency. The defense could surprise us, but betting on potential isn't always the safest move in this league. And let's not forget the QB situation. Geno's playing with fire under his feet, knowing Howell is right there if things go south. What do you think? Let us know in the comments if we're being too harsh or not harsh enough. So there you have it. Our take on the Seahawks roller coaster of an off season. Agree? Disagree? We want to hear it all. Drop your thoughts below. And as always, smash that like button, subscribe, and ring the bell to stay on top of all things NFL with Hitstick Football.